Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we're reviewing our second Transformers bot shot, and it's Skyquake. Transform this thing is very simple. I dropped it and it auto morphs into a little seeker jet. A lot of you will say bot shots are basic, but I think they're pretty fun. Pretty simple toys to transform. And they convert with ease compared to other transformers that have more than one step. But we are going to get down to comparison. We're going to get Bot Shot Skyquake. And then we're going to show off the little gimmick with these toys. Where they crash into one another. And on which weapon you have, you can have them with the fist. Fist. I think mine is stuck in the fist mode. You got to get in there with your nail again with the sword. Why not? There I say, why not? Articulation, they don't have any. They're just simple. Shockwave's arms move out due to the transformation. Skyquake's arms move, no head articulation. But these are simple little toys, so let's get down to the fun gimmick of crashing them and seeing who wins. Got Skyquake set for the sword, and Shockwave with the blaster. So let's get on to crashing them. And there they go. They automatically transform. Let's see who won. Shockwave had the blaster. Skyquake had the sword. The winner is Shockwave. We can do it one more time. Get the... Uh, if it gets the blaster, then it's tied. But we're going to give him the fist and the blaster. Let's see who wins. And this time from the other side, because this is very fun... To mess around with these. Who will win? And the winner is, yet again, Shockwave. And these are so much fun for automorphing, transforming toys. I love these things, and these figures are from 2012. Not a bad looking toy line. Do I have intent to see to own any more of these? Yes. I probably own a whole mini shelf of these things because they are so much fun to transform and to battle with one another. And as you know, I love to have a lot of fun with my Transformers toys when I review them. And these two are going to be a permanent part of my collection. Would have been cool if I had one Autobot, one Decepticon to show this off. I just did a battle with two Decepticons because it was fun and I could get Decepticon for cheap. So, yeah. Is this worth buying for your collection of Transformers toys? Yes, they are fun to transform, fun to crash into one another. And I only paid six bucks for this and I paid three bucks for this. So it's definitely worth the money. But before we end this video, we're going to show off what we're going to do starting Tuesday. Transformers The Last Night Legends Class Prime. You're probably wondering, why is he missing a wheel? I lost the wheel to him. But from the front, he still has all three of his wheels. And this is based on the... Uh, Michael Bay first movie Optimus, but it's done in the last night movie colors. Why not? And there I say, why not? And we got this cool Autobot container to do with it. Because it's got the Autobot insignia. So stay tuned for next week's review. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.